Hey guys, welcome back to day two of the 12 Days of Nail Mess. Today we have this stunning black ice inspired design. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure to subscribe and stick around and let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, so my nails are all prepped and ready to go for the color application. So today I'm going to be using some light elegance colors. So first of all, I have black tie, which is just your standard black shade. I have got sapphire butter bling from light elegance and this is generally one of my favorite colors. It's just so pretty and so shiny. I have almost right, which is one of their new collections. It's this bluey kind of icy silvery shade. And then Siren Song, which is just the prettiest blue. I absolutely adore it. And then for one of the fingers, I'm going to be using the Lacente Silver Chrome. So to start, I'm using the Light Elegance Oval Brush. And we're going to use this to apply the black. So for the pinky and the index finger, I'm kind of doing a faded black. And I'm just doing that to make sure that the cuticle area is really neat when I apply any glitter. Um, and also just lays a really nice base for the blue that I'm going to be using. And then on the middle finger, I'm going to be painting that all black and that is because I'm going to be applying chrome to that nail. So it just acts as a really, really nice base for that chrome to go on top. So for the pinky and the index finger, I'm going to be doing a really pretty glitter fade. So I'm applying that bluer shade on the top half and again, you can kind of see how the black underneath kind of completely changes the way that that glitter looks. So I'm applying that halfway down the nail, kind of blending it a little bit thinner towards the middle and then without curing that, I'm going to be going in and picking up the I'm Always Right colour and I'm just going to blend that in. And I'm just gonna kind of toy around with that little blend. It's so easy, it literally is so quick. It's my favorite thing to do when clients ask for nail art because it's just the easiest thing in the world. Um, and then once I've got the blend right, I will cure it. And then to encapsulate all of that together so it all stays really nice and there's no lumpy bumpies or anything like that, I am going in with the clear one step applying a slip layer over the whole lot and then just wiggling my brush down to make sure that they are all encapsulated in there. For my chrome nail, I'm going in with Lucente's Layer It. This is a, an amazing product basically to apply before chrome. So I'm just going in with a really nice layer of that over the whole black nail, curing that in the lamp for the amount of time needed and then using a disposable lip gloss wand and I'm just picking up some of that uh, chrome powder and then just rubbing it in really really well to the nail and you want to make sure that you are really really rubbing this in to make sure that it goes from just being like a fine kind of shimmer over the nail to that chrome effect so for the ring finger I'm going to be taking some of that butter bling in sapphire the butter blings are a slightly different formula to their normal butter creams they are just so intensely pigmented with shimmers and glitters they are really just something else they're really really cool so this one is sapphire so i'm applying that over the nail and i'm applying it not thick but you want to have enough product on it you don't want to apply it too too thin because for the next step we're going to move some product around and we need it to have a decent thickness over the nail so I'm going in with my cling film, really carefully placing that on top just to make sure that I'm not squishing any of the product out onto the skin surrounding. You want to avoid the skin again in any contact with the product. And then I'm just using the end of my cuticle pusher to move some of the product around, push it to create little ridges in it, curing it for a minute and then peeling off the cling film to reveal this kind of very cool cracked ice kind of effect. It's, it's really cool, I love it. You could realistically leave it here because I think it looks really cool and just encapsulate that then with some clear one step or whatever clear gel that you have. But what I'm going to do is because I want that black ice kind of slightly more dark, icy, gothic -y kind of looking nail set. I decided to do a custom mix of black tie and also clear one step. So I'm applying that all over the nails and I kind of want to concentrate a lot more black down the bottom because I really want to have a little bit more of a fade. 
curing that in the lamp and then filing it to create that kind of iced luck running through the nail. Once that's all done, I am just topping all of the nails with some top coat. I've gone for shiny across them all. And this is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that you subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.